in java 1.5 uh, you have seen that there are uh, multiple constructs that came in for uh, concurrent programming so today we are going to discuss the differences between uh, countdown latch versus cyclic barrier so uh, you have noticed now people got confused that where to use which construct so uh, today uh, first of all we'll start with the countdown latch so suppose you have a use case wherein uh, you want to get data from three different microservices so you have three microservices so here i'll say m1 m2 and m3 so these three uh, microservices or there are three uh, rest services that are deployed now you want to get data from three uh, microservices and you want to wait till the data comes from these three microservices or you get a response from these three microservices so now you have three threads one is t1 t2 and one is t3 so t1 is waiting i mean t1 is uh, calling m1 and waiting for the data t2 is calling m2 and waiting for the response t3 is calling m3 and waiting for the response so now you have for example in this t1 as soon as the data comes in so t1 is saying now all these three threads have the reference to same object of countdown latch so suppose the countdown object uh, suppose the name of the countdown latch object is cl1 so you have some countdown latch cl1 equal to new countdown latch now this object is shared with this thread this thread and this thread now these three threads will have the reference of this countdown latch now after m1 response this uh, t1 gets response from m1 it is saying cl1 dot countdown so um, uh, just one more thing uh, while initializing the countdown latch you need to specify that uh, how many threads will call countdown and after that all the threads that are waiting on await method will get notified so you will start your because uh, you have three threads that are waiting on these three microservices so we'll start the countdown latch with the count as 3 so now uh, first uh, thread will uh, get the response and say cl1 dot countdown now second thread will now there is one more thread called t4 or t5 there can be multiple threads which can wait on this cl1 dot await now they are waiting for this now if there are some lines that are written after this await so those line will not be executed till this countdown will get called three times as soon as t2 get response from m2 it is it will also say cl1 dot countdown and as soon as t3 will get response from m3 it will also say cl1 dot countdown now as soon as see now the countdown in the starting the value of count is 3 when m1 uh, t1 get the response from m1 so it will uh, it will count down the value to 2 now again when it t2 get the response from m2 so it will become the count become 1 and then here the count becomes 0 as soon as the count becomes 0 so all the threads that are waiting on await method will get notified and they come out of this wait and they can uh, i mean uh, continue working and the next line will get executed after that so all the thread which are uh, waiting on this await method will be notified and uh, the next method will uh, next line will get executed so this is the use case wherein uh, you can use the countdown latch now we can uh, see uh, wherein uh, the so in this uh, in this scenario we have three threads t1 t2 t3 which are decrementing the value of countdown and t4 t5 are waiting on uh, uh, on t1 
टी वन टी टू टी थ्री टू गेट कम्प्लीटेड और टू गेट द रिजल्ट फ्रॉम एम वन एम टू एंड एम थ्री रिस्पेक्टिवली नाउ सो देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ थ्रेड्स वन आर डिक्रीमेंटिंग द काउंट एंड वन आर वेटिंग ऑन ए पर्टिकुलर लाइन सो दिस इज द यूज केस वेर इन यू द काउंट डाउन लैच विल फिट इन नाउ विल मूव टू साइक्लिक बैरियर सो लेट मी गो टू अनदर पेज now we'll see cyclic barrier so in case of uh, countdown latch i'll show uh, i told you that there are th two different threads one are countdown uh, one are doing the countdown and uh, other ones are doing the await okay but in the cyclic barrier you will notice that all the threads will wait for each other there is no method called countdown in cyclic barrier this is just, there is just only the await method okay so for example now i'll tell you where uh, the uh, where you should use cyclic barrier so we'll take one use case wherein you have for example three threads t1 t2 and t3 okay now you have one cyclic barrier object so you'll say cyclic barrier cb equal to new cyclic barrier and you will say uh, the count of this cyclic barrier will be 3 for example and also you can give the enable here we'll discuss wh uh, why the enable is given here after a while so now uh, the count when you start uh, or instantiate this uh, cyclic barrier the count is 3 now you have three threads t1 t2 and t3 when uh, that is why i have taken only three threads so uh, they both have they uh, all of these ha will have the same uh, reference of the cyclic barrier that is they all are waiting for example there are three lines of code that uh, they uh, executed and now they are waiting on cb dot await like for example here also there are some lines and we will say cb dot await some lines then cb dot await now as soon as this t1 executed this line and comes on this cb dot await so this will wait here till all the other threads will come to this line and call await so now there are three threads that are waiting for each other you might have noticed that there are two kind of threads here one are doing the countdown and one are waiting but here there are only similar kind of threads which are only waiting for each other suppose i'll give you a real time example of this suppose there are three friends which are going uh, from delhi to jaipur and they are waiting uh, and they have decided that they will they will wait on the delhi bus stand for each other to arrive at that point and then they will start their journey so as soon as first friends gets arrived on delhi uh, bus stand so it will wait for the other two friends to come so now as soon as first call awaits so it will not get now the next line to this uh, await uh, method will not get executed it will wait on this line now as soon as the second thread comes this will also see i mean in the in the await method so there is a check uh, as soon as first uh, thread calls await so count will decrement to 1 so the count becomes 2 so there are still two threads to come now as soon as the second thread called await the count becomes 1 now there is still one thread left to uh, call await now as soon as third thread calls await so now all the threads will um, go down and execute the next line to that before that t3 i mean t3 or the last thread that come at last will execute this renewable task that you specify here so this is the difference between countdown latch and cyclic barrier i hope uh, now it is clear to all of you thank you